a long way from home. At bedtime in the burrow, Moz was squished and squashed by sleepy rabbits. Oh no, he tutted. Crumplings. Move over Tam. Tam squeezed over then folded her arms round Moz, using him as a hot water bottle. Too hot, muttered Moz too many rabbits. So out into the night he went. What are you doing out here, smallest bun, asked Albatros, swooping down. There is no room, snuffled Moz. And Tam is always squashing me. But she is your favorite sister. It doesn't stop her from squashing me, said Moz. So, to cheer him up, Albatros told Moz about the land of the North Star, where there was sky space and snow space. No rabbits there, sighed Moz I wish I could come with you to the frozen north. Hop on, then, smallest bun, Albatro said. Moz squeaked as Albatros lifted into the air. Under the moon and over the wind she flew. As she soared high, high higher, Moz held out his paws like wings. I am flying he cried. Hold tight, it is the North Star. Albatross shouted. From the North Star came a wild tornado of snow and before Moz could take hold of Albatross, he had toppled into the storm. Swept on the wind he tumbled and rolled. Down. And down. To land puff. In a snowdrift. Moz was all alone for a moment he was afraid. Then he looked around at the empty white space and shook himself with excitement. No squish he cried. No squash. Moz danced solo in the snow. He skated and skimmed and threw snowballs, but then whoosh. He was slipping down an ice slide, going faster and faster. Moz skidded to a stop. Oh no. There were rabbits everywhere. As he opened his mouth to protest, the other rabbits did too the only sound was Moz's tiny squeak. Mirror rabbits he gasped. These weren't real rabbits, just reflections in the ice. Moz was in an ice cave, an ice hall, an ice palace. It was as big as space and quiet as silence. And there was no one there but him. In the mirror walls, Moz saw himself like a king, his fluff grand with ice crystals. Moz made a cool, roomy, snow nest. No nest sharing. He pronounced and lay royally down to sleep. When Moz woke, his fluff was frozen and he was cold to the bone. Shivering in his lonely bed, he thought about his snuggly sister Tam, squeezed into the nest with all the cozy night snufflings of his family. Even his tears froze. How he longed to go home. So, out of the palace, he crawled, slipping and slithering up the ice slide until he came out under the open sky where the stony moon shone. Albatross. Shouted Moz where are you? There was no answer, only the empty creaking of the ice. But there. A feathery whisper on the wind Moz looked up and saw wide wings, it was an albatross. Smallest bun. She said, relieved. I have been looking for you everywhere. She swung Moz onto her back and gratefully he nestled into her warm down, thinking only of home. Back in the nest, Tam rolled over. Moz was wonderfully squished and squashed, he was gorgeously crumpled and crammed. He was Tam's hot water bottle. He snuggled into her fluff and, with a sigh, he fell to sleep. <laughs>